Hello. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for organizing this conference and all the interesting panels that have been already here and all the discussions. I'm Farish Tomoeller and uh, as Kadre said, I'm uh, from Lomos. And my topic today is lampreys, the cruelty of preparing the traditional delicacy in northern uh, northeast Estonia. I will tell you a little bit about lampreys uh, because um, oh, I have noticed that uh, lampreys are not so well known and also about how they are caught and killed and eaten. I will take you to one Lampreys festival in northeast Estonia and also tell you about the campaign we created but did not yet launch. Uh, this campaign was uh, or is to convince people to ban salting lampreys alive. So who are the lampreys? Let me see how to change the slide. Yes. Lampreys, they're very interesting creatures. Uh, they are somehow snake-like and uh, a little bit resembling as an eel. Uh, strictly speaking, uh, they, are, they do not belong to the class of fish, but instead to the class of cyclostomy. Lampreys are not good swimmers, but move along by swimming like a snake. They can grow up to half a meter in length and weight up to a few hundred grams. And lampreys have a peculiar lifestyle and life cycle, and their development deserve maybe some attention. They go from the sea to rivers to spawn, choosing places with fast currents and sandy gravel bottoms. And during spawning, however, a number of changes take place. Lampreys become dull, so they don't uh, feed uh, and do not eat during spawning at all, and the body length decreases by about 10%. The only wedding trip will also be the last in their lives. And lampreys move only in the shadow of darkness. Uh, so fishermen use it uh, when they are catching them. The migration takes place on pitch dark nights uh, without moonlight, sometimes also during the day, but only when the water is muddy and the weather is gloomy. And where do they live. Uh, here uh, you can see uh, where they are in Europe and Estonia and these red parts um, from there they are extinct. So lampreys, <clears throat> uh, they have the status of an endangered species in many countries and uh, catching them is prohibited. Uh, it is not the case in Estonia. However, lamprey is in European Nature Directive on second and also in uh, Annex 5. Uh, so there are some restrictions how to take care of them. And now how they are caught. In the Narva River, uh, what is in... Um, Northeast Estonia, various fishing nets, traps, and loop cones were used for catching lampreys. And the latter are distinctive fish traps that are still used today. The cone consists of two cones. The smaller cone, I have a picture of it here. Um, uh, the smaller cone is inside the larger one. There is an opening at the top of the inner cone. When the lamprey swims through this hole, it gets trapped between the two cones. There is also a hole at the top of the outer cone, which is closed with a bulge during fishing. To get the lampreys from the cone, the bump is removed and the lampreys are shaken out. There are usually 50 cones in a row. The line is usually placed across the river. And when the line is lowered onto the water, the cones turn the wider end towards the sea under the influence of the current. The spawning lampreys simply swim into them. And there is no data on how many lampreys were caught in Estonian rivers in the Middle Ages or in the 19th century, but it is known for the 20th century that before the Second World War, the annual catch was between 40 and 100 tons. The largest catch was recorded 
1931, and it was 102 tons. In 2021, it was 33 tons. So one question what raises is, Maybe there is not so many lampreys left anymore also in uh, Estonian areas, uh, but um, there are not uh, enough um, investigations done uh, to tell that correctly. And in this century, the annual catch has remained exactly in the range of 30 till 50 tons, according to official data. And also in Latvia, uh, lampreys are caught and their the number is 70 till 100 tons and um, as I said they are caught with cones um, and it is a little bit problematic or maybe more than a little bit obstacles are built on um, small streams and rivers and it inhibits the natural flow of water so I have heard many environmentalists say that it is a problem also for other fishes uh, to move there on these rivers. So, and now about eating the lampreys. Uh, in many countries, they are not eating, in, uh, eating because um, they are considered... Um, to be not healthy, basically, but to make them edible, they are salted alive. And they do it in every case. They salt them and after that they roast or they make some marinade or whatever uh, food they decide to do. I show you later the pictures. So, and here I have a little bit written how uh, it works. They shake. Um, salt on living lampreys uh, so um, this all become kind of bloody maybe not so nice to <laughs> see although the river lamprey is not poisonous eating it causes diarrhea and malaise uh, so it is uh, something what I uh, what in Estonia is said uh, and this happens when you salt them alive then they are not um, uh, maybe maybe not so bad for your health. Uh, now, a little bit about the law. Mm, this paragraph four of the Estonian Animal Protection Act says that animals must be treated with respect and we have to avoid causing them suffering. Salting alive causes a lot of suffering uh, because they do not die immediately. It can take an hour but I have also heard that it can take till 24 hours if you don't uh, create food from them earlier than this. Uh, so um, they basically yeah, are alive in that salt. Paragraph 10 uh, obliges that in case of permitted execution of an animal to choose a method of what would cause the animal as little physical and mental suffering as possible. Uh, so, but because they are not protected species in Estonia, salting them alive uh, is uh, considered okay. Uh, but this practice is considered cruel and painful in some other countries and is therefore banned, uh, for example, in Germany and Netherlands. And this was the point for us um, when we thought that... Uh, maybe we could uh, start the campaign uh, also here in uh, Estonia uh, to um, make this um, ban uh, happen. Uh, this was uh, our um, design for, for the campaign. And um, we worked on that campaign, salting lampreys alive must stop. We had uh, long discussions how it should be done, uh, because as um, a vegan organization, of course, our um, message is always um, about not using other animals, um, but uh, about lampreys. If you don't salt them alive, you can't eat them. So uh, banning uh, this uh, really cruel tradition to salt them would have caused or 
would cause also ban to catch the lampreys. So that's why we decided uh, on that point. It was uh, around 2021 and 2022 that we will take uh, this um, wording and we realized that if pets are considered as cute animals companion animals people usually do care about them and also about very many other animals but they do not uh, feel often this kind of connection uh, about fishes and so our aim politically was to stop uh, salting lampreys alive and um, that's why as i just said we uh, came up with this kind of idea and uh, one thing we wanted to do was a petition um, with two um, uh, points uh, so to ban salting lampreys alive and also um, ban ammonia baths because um, they are used in some other countries instead of uh, salting them uh, but what happened with our campaign it is still there waiting uh, we had also a meeting with a minister um, uh, right now there is another minister on that place uh, but uh, we uh, kind of made this campaign stop because uh, uh, Russia started uh, its invasion in Ukraine and uh, because lampreys are caught and eaten uh, in uh, northeast Estonia um, there are more Russian speaking people uh, so we got the information that um, eating and lampreys are a trademark uh, from this place uh, so um, the suggestion kind of was to not to do it on that time or to think about it so we because we had the project for it with uh, Eurogroup for Animals. Uh, on that point, we changed our project. We uh, stopped this lamprey thing, uh, put it on wait waiting list, so to say. And we started to um, look um, for other laws and how they are protecting fishes but during that time uh, we took time me and Sara uh, who is here um, as a main organizer of the conference we went to Lampris festival in Narva USU and now I will show you a few photos from there they are all uh, made by Sara uh, so here you can uh, see these lampreys uh, who are very fresh. I very much apologize for these uh, pictures if um, uh, people might find it um, not nice. They are not nice, but just to give you an overview how it looked like there. Uh, so here, um, why I put this picture, here's also eel. Eels were also sell there and uh, because eels kind of look the same much bigger than lampreys, but they really are endangered. But still, uh, um, people catch them in Estonia, they sell them, they eat them. Uh, so also in that festival, we were talking a lot that maybe this is also one thing what should be done um, to ban uh, altogether this eel catching and eating tradition. So here are some um, cooked uh, lampreys. They looked like that. Uh, it was uh, one idea of the festival organizer to make this festival somehow new and also to try new food. So they took this uh, kind of old traditional food as uh, lamprey and put them into a new um, sauce, so to say. And here was uh, free soup for everybody from lampreys. And um, anyways, our conclusion was that we must have a discussion on ethical and cultural grounds, that if there exists no way to painlessly execute an animal, then maybe we should not kill these animals at all. And... Um, uh, this was our message also to minister and the question that what should we do? Uh, should we really put people first and only people first? Of course, we do understand uh, 
that we have to care of all life. Uh, but in the same time, lampreys in Estonia are delicacy. It's it's not like a potato. You do not die if you don't eat it. And also in a festival, it was um, clear uh, that um, local people, what is understandable, of course, local people really want to have a trademark from their own. And uh, lamprey is something they uh, kind of want to raise that trademark. And um, I think we really want to go on on that lobbying, basically, not only lampreys, but uh, also other fishes um, that we really have to think uh, how we treat our traditions. And uh, the question ultimately boils really down to whether economic and possibly habitual considerations should outweigh ethical choices. So thank you very much. I have the last uh, slide um, from internet somewhere uh, that fishes uh, are most forgotten victims. Maybe they're not most forgotten, but they sure are forgotten victims uh, because um, very often people just do not think that if you take fish out from water, it's the same as you put person under the water. It's not pleasant. And uh, the fact that fish do not die out from the water, it doesn't mean that it doesn't feel pain. Thank you very much.